Hello friends, my name is AJ and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a very quick swift video on how to have full screen segues in iOS 13. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so if you remember, or if you have been programming for a while on Swift, um, previously to iOS 13, you know that whenever you have a segue from one page to another, it generally opens up in a type of full screen. So I have an example here, which is configured how it was on iOS 12. If I open a new page, it usually opens up just like this as a full new page which is you know, how you generally expect apps to work and how changing pages to work. And this is how it has been default since um, pretty much iOS 12 and um, backwards. It's only iOS 13 where the new default segue actually changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this new app, full screen iOS 13, onto my device and show you what I'm talking about. The previous um, app was for iOS 12 and um, below but then the new one is how iOS 13 opens. If you notice, when I click open page, it opens a new page, which I can actually scroll down to dismiss it. This is something that is new in iOS 13. In Xcode 11, it, it defaults to this. And uh, people may be confused, and this could even break your app, for example, if, you've ha or if you already have an app that's designed and um, and you've maybe released it and, you're, and you just opened Xcode to work on an update or something, um, and then you realize that all of your segues no longer work correctly. So this particular video is going to quickly show you how to get it back to how it used to be um, with iOS 12. And it's actually very easy to do. All you have to do is actually uh, click on the segue. And by the way, all I did here was I have two view controllers, right? One page here, one page here, a button. And then all I did was control clicked and dragged from this button over here and clicked show as my action segue. So all you have to do in order to make it full screen is you just have to click on the segue itself. And then on this right pane right here where you see the word kind and then a drop down menu, you're going to click on the drop down menu and you're going to change it from show to present moduli right here. Sorry, not this one, present moduli right here. And then if you notice, you now have a new drop down menu when you choose this you have the presentation drop-down menu. You're going to click the drop-down menu for presentation and you're going to change it to full screen. And just like that, if you notice even in this in the storyboard, um, it actually changes from how it looks with the ability to scroll down in the new version to how it used to be. If I run my new app, you can see that when I press the open page button, and now works perfectly as expected. So that is how to do it using the storyboard. And this is something again that kind of took some people by surprise if they maybe opened their thing for the first time or wasn't necessarily um, sure after WWDC and they opened it up and they tried working and it kind of just, it wasn't really working. The segue wasn't really working. They had to look up a solution. So this is the easiest, by far the easiest solution if you are using storyboards. However, if you're doing things programmatically, it's going to be a little bit different. And I'm going to show you how to now do it um, programmatically specifically. So to do this, what you want to do is Let's say you are doing a segue using the self.present uh, command. So usually what you do is you'd have like let view controller, right? Which is the new view controller that you're going to create. This may be some view controller like this. And then you had self.present view controller to present was view controller, animated was true, and then completion maybe nil. Something like this is how you may have done it. And uh, some view controller, I've not actually made a class for it, so it's just here, um, kind of as a placeholder for whatever type of view controller you may have. And so the one line of code that you actually need to change here is you have to do view controller, and I'm actually, to make autocomplete work, I am going to create the sum view controller class up here. So I'm just going to say class sum view controller UI view controller, just like that. And that just exists here, just so I have autocomplete to show you the example. You would, of course, have a second view controller created on probably some other page, but I'm just again doing this so we have autocomplete. And so what you have to do is you have to have view controller and then dot 
um, module presentation style like this and you're going to click enter and then what you want to do is you want to set it equal to and then there are different presentation styles so to access it you just use the dot operator and it provides a list of UI uh, module presentation style um, choices here so you have automatic current context custom form sheet full screen and full screen is the one that we're actually going to use now you notice there's also an over full screen over full screen is mainly if you are trying to have something with somewhat transparency so it will pretty much open on top of what's already there in full screen so let's say you have a transparency on that particular page you can actually see what's behind it but all you're going to do is you're just going to do full screen like this and then you will be able to present your view controller using that code. And this is how to do it again programmatically if you're not using the storyboard. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe for more content. And as always, thanks for watching.